Hi guys, Life of an Englishman here, and uh, I've been at Mum's as it's Sunday. So uh, I've got a bite to eat. I don't know why, but I always feel peckish when I get home. Anyway, I had a sandwich in the fridge, so I grabbed that. Hence the empty packets down there. <laughs> uh, I want something different when I woke up today, so I went and got some, you know, those ready-made sandwiches at the supermarkets. Um, well, I've straightened it out. It's not 100% perfect, but it's about 98% better than it was. And there's a bit of a twist in it, but it shouldn't affect it. But uh, there'll only be one way to find out, and that's to fit it to the bike when I'm when I get to that frame and uh, find out. <laughs> um, I didn't think it would straighten. I thought it would snap, but uh, no, that actually straightened up pretty easy. Anyway, I did come home with a few bits again. <laughs> um, can't see shit, Captain. Hang on. That's not really helping either. Right. Hang on. Bear with me a ticket. Uh, what I'm trying to show you... I don't know, it might actually be coming up clearer on camera than it is on my screen. It could just be the shitty screen, but... Yeah. Actually, it is my she screen, but... Yeah, that black mountain bike frame, I think it's a Saxon, it's got a Saxon badge on the front anyway. Um, and this is the one in yesterday's video I was talking about maybe fitting those white suspension forks to. Because bottom bracket's fine, crank's fine, I've just got to throw a, tra a train, a chain on it, rear derailleur, wheels, the forks. Basically just build it up. Um, but I do need to clean it down, and I'm just going to quickly go over it with some bike spray paint, but that's a job for later in the week. I don't need to get that one done right this minute. My um, barracuda is underneath it. Um, some bicycle lights, bells, and dynamos given to me by Biggles, because that guy, he didn't want any of that vintage stuff that he was going to buy off Biggles, so... Biggles has been putting job lots up on eBay and, you know, going through all what was there and putting job lots up on eBay. But these lights just aren't worth it. There's no brand names on these two headlamps down here, so they're not worth shit, really. Neither is that Union one right there. That's not... There's so many of those on eBay, they're not worth a lot either. Um, and I've got myself a new toolbox. Look at that one. Or a mobile work centre, is what Stanley calls it. Yep, I didn't get a bike from the recycle centre, but I got that toolbox. Um, the reason for that, I want to get rid of that. And that, I could probably stand outside the front door or something. Uh, or literally just stand it in a corner somewhere. It's on wheels. It's got hand, the, you know, the big pull-up handle and everything on it. Sorry, Nemo. And it did, uh, oh, I forgot to put that back in. Because I cheated. Everything I brought home today, I put in that toolbox. So I just had to bring that upstairs. But, uh, the only thing that's actually broken on it is this corner here. But, you know, I can put my bike tools and hexagon keys in these trays. I'll probably put hexagon keys in that one, because they're lighter. With that broken hinge there, it might pop open. And I'll put all my specialist bike tools in that one. I could get quite a few in there. I could even get, possibly, some of my bike spanners in there, to be honest. If I stick those in first, and then stick all my extractors and whatnot on top. Um, then in here, I can open it up. I've got that tool tray to go in, but I can put all my hammers, um, 
basically a lot more bits than what I can store in that one and it'll be a lot easier to find them in there as well and uh, if you actually think that might be a bit much to lug around especially when it's full of tools you would be correct <laughs> but it's got a catch there so I can just take the top half with me so if I put all the tools I mostly use for um, doing bikes if I ever go to mum's I can just take the top half with me see <laughs> and I can just leave the bottom half here I can put the tools that I seldomly use in that bottom um, box so that toolbox I'm planning to completely empty pardon me and get rid of I might put it up for free or I might just dump it I don't know I don't really want to dump it because it's a good work in the toolbox yeah, and then, I've, then I'll have that one free as well. I might actually throw that because it's getting damaged anyway. So, I might actually sit here and do that tonight because it's not really a noisy job. Um, mm. a nice big tray there. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there. Spanners maybe because I do use those on bikes more than screwdrivers. I might get some screwdrivers in that middle bit there. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's full of paint dust again. What the heck? Yeah, I'll wash that all down. And uh, someone's already painted it black. So, well, they painted it black, and uh, they missed the arse end for some reason. So what I'll do, I did sort of hit it with the, what was left over from the other black paint I had. There was a few bits I missed because I didn't do it properly. So I'll clean it down, touch it up, and that'll be good to go. I may even throw some on that um, chain ring there, the crank. Uh, but yeah. I think the white forks will suit this one better. So will the suspension forks, actually. I don't think they suit my Peugeot, so I wasn't too happy on putting them in there. Once I'd looked at it. Uh, what else did I bring home? Oh, yeah. A laptop. <laughs> um, Biggles is going to grab another, oh, another couple of these tomorrow. Yeah, I've had it apart, so I'm just clicking it together. Uh, this does work technically um, but the screen doesn't but uh, I noticed when I turned it on because I thought the screen was totally dead but it isn't I do see a flicker but it doesn't seem to light up and I can't see anything on there to suggest it's got a separate um, screen inverter because it could even be an LED screen on this one. I don't know. Um, I'll have to really... It's got some brief specs on here. You know, Scope Certified, Precision Touchpad, Gigabit LAN, HD Webcam, Energy Saving Thingy Bob there, Intel Celeron Processor, N2840, Intel HD Graphics, 1000 gigabyte hard drive, 4 gigabytes DDR3L memory. Um, but to check it worked, me and my brother took it upstairs to his room and uh, plugged an HDMI cable in the back and plugged it into his monitor and uh, lo and behold, it does actually work. It's running Windows 8 and uh, if I can get the screen to work, I'm going to put Windows 10 on it because I fucking hate Windows 8. Might even be 8.1, but either way, it's coming off. <laughs> So, yeah, and I've got the power supply with that as well. But my stepdad's looking for another one, and uh, there is... He couldn't uh, get the two today, but he's hidden them up, and he'll get them tomorrow, hopefully. And I uh, might be able to do one for stepdad out of those two. They've got smashed screens. But, with all these laptops I've got kicking around here, I'm sure I could probably, probably find one I can pinch one out of. So that shouldn't be an issue. And screens aren't actually that expensive. 
Get off. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, the cheapest screen i found for this, if I have to replace the screen, is about a little less than £30. Pounds. Um, but I don't know how to get this bezel off. It does come off, but I don't know how it comes off. There's no screws, it's just these, what look like a little notch or something in there. I don't know if they've got to be pressed in or something. I'm going to have to do a bit of research and see if I can find out. <laughs> but that would be a, quite a nice little um, laptop to use if I can get it to work and the only other thing I bought home was a box full of uh, seat posts free wheels and a few other bits because I needed some free wheels anyway and I couldn't well I didn't want to rely on the fact that I may have one here I rely on the fact that I need two seven speed one so I just everything like that I bought back from mums anyway same with my seat posts because uh, well I do all my work here anyway so it would make more sense to bring all those home and put in the boxes here I've got two seven speeds set aside in there they're actually on top of the pile to put on this Apollo because that's what I want to crack on with tomorrow when I crack on with this Apollo. Oh, bought a handlebar home as well for um, this black bike. I think it's actually going to look pretty uh, nice when it's done, to be honest. I've got V-brakes for it, I've got some nice shiny silver ones, so that's not a problem. Parts aren't a problem. Got daddy long legs flying around in here. As long as it's not a wasp, I don't care. Right. Yeah, other than that, didn't do a lot at mum's, I just sort of hung around inside or hung around the workshop. Her and stepdad have uh, made up. <laughs> I've got both got a lot on their plate at the moment and uh, every now and again you know what it's like sparks fly <laughs> and that's why I stay out of it you know their argument is their argument I may not like some of the things they do to each other I know mum can be just as bad and by do I mean treat each other and that's never been physical Mum wouldn't be with him if he ever got physical. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> things really. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not going to go into details because it's their business. But it's, uh, there's a lot of stress and uh, tempers fly every now and again. <laughs> Can't believe it's 15 years ago that the 9/11 uh, attacks happened. Where's time gone? To me, it still feels like you know last year. Still feels really recent. May they all rest in peace. It really would be nice if we could just stop all wars. They're not really necessary. I'm sure we're just fighting for the sheer hell of a fighting. I'm not seeing any reason these days to keep it up. But uh, we can only do what the government wants us to do and what they say we should do. When do you want to come and get it? Because he was wanting to collect this BMX today, but 
I don't know if he just got sidetracked because he didn't reply until... I don't know when his last reply was, actually. I didn't look at the time. Well, I replied back to him at 9.34, according to this. Um... But yeah, I'm in all day tomorrow. Like I said, I've got to do this. I do... I don't know why, but whenever I've got money, I just have this urge to go look around charity shops. Which is actually weird, because I usually get the urge to go and buy Lego. <laughs> uh, oh, that reminds me. That laptop and Wii um, that I posted via my Hermes at 9 o'clock Thursday morning the guy has already received it, he's already left feedback so that took if you count Thursday, three days he must have got it yesterday, Saturday because I know my Hermes do deliver on a Saturday well, that's the advantage, one advantage of my Hermes, they're one of the few that do work Saturdays I'm not sure what the fuck that is buzzing around my light, but it's fucking huge. And it's going to die. When I can find the fly spray. I... I... Oh! Oh no, that's okay. It's a daddy long legs. Or what we call a daddy long legs. It's basically a large gnat. I know Americans, I think it's Americans, that call a certain spider a daddy long legs. <laughs> yeah, that's all that is. I think it's just the effect of the light which is making it look extremely huge. It's got a rather, a rather large body, though. Well, it didn't look that big when I got close, but from here, and the, the effect of the light making him look big. Right. Anyway, where was I? Can't remember. <laughs> Oh, my eyes have gone funny looking up at that, like. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that was it. Shopping in charity shops. Yeah, there's actually only... Only one I really like going into. But that's really because their stock pretty much changes every day. There's something new every day. It might die, because that buzzing is actually starting to piss me off. <laughs> all around the fucking light. Yeah, it's the Catali one. It's not a huge charity like Bernardo's or Break or Arthritis Research or any of those, you know, Yaris PCA. It's just a small local one. But they get loads of stuff donated to them and decent stuff. The stuff I've actually seen in there my lamp over here. That's where that came from. I've got that Lego game over there. All sorts I come out of there with. I mean, yeah, I still... I don't know why, but I sold the bike they donated to me and I was going to give them the cash. But uh, I ended up spending it. But what I've spent in there in the year or more since I sold the bike I may not have to kill that and that because the cat's got it <laughs> he's playing with it yeah but the amount of money I've spent is more than what I sold the bike for so I think I've made up for it that way But yeah, my original intent was to sell the bike and then give them the money for it, but... I swear that Matt just bloody nose-dived into my Lego town. That's demented. Okay. <laughs> Can't remember what else I've had out there. I've had PC games, PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games. CDs, quite a few bulky items actually.
I've donated in their pot as well. Sometimes I'll put my change in their um, donations pot. Dear me, uh, must we get late? Oh, it's five past eleven. That's why I was getting late. Well, that's why it feels late. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying now. <laughs> So I'll reply to this guy and hopefully he'll see it. I don't know why he didn't reply. I replied late last night so he obviously didn't see any emails until... It's on the floor. It looks like a female nap from the look of it. <coughs> Wee, it's just flown above my head. <laughs> the cat is playing games with it. Either that or the gnat is playing games with the cat. I haven't decided yet. Oh, it's doing acrobatics. It's hanging from the ceiling on one leg. No, well. I must be either bored or just not with it because I'm talking about a fucking gnat. <coughs> Yeah, I can't think of anything else anyway, so I'm going to turn the camera off, I think. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again at some point tomorrow. I don't know if I'll turn the camera on before I start the Apollo, or once it's done. I hope to get it done tomorrow. I'd like to. Oh yeah, I've got to find an inner tube. I guess I'll have an excuse to put the tyre on the right way Wha wound. God. The right way round. Because it's on the wrong way round at the minute. And that'll drive me up the wall. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.